Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI, welcoming you right back to Let's Play Danganronpa V3, this is episode 40. In the last episode, we started the chapter 4 class trial, trying to figure out who killed Mew, the ultimate inventor. Um, we made it to the intermission, and we didn't find out that much really. We found out that she was strangled by toilet paper within the virtual world, which killed her in the real world, because that's how it works. We also found out that the whole world sort of loops, and that the map was not the way that Mew had drawn it, and that Mew was actually trying to kill Kikichi. But obviously it didn't work out. Somebody killed her first. Was it Kikichi in self-defense? Was it somebody else who had their own plan? Let's get going. See if we can find out a little bit more. I'm hoping today that we make it to the, the sort of closing argument, the comic book style part. Yeah, it might take a while, but we'll get it today. Man, I'm bushed. I got no motivation at all. And Monophony's period is late too. <laughs> Father, why do you know Monophony's title? Never mind that. Perhaps this lack of motivation is due to a lack of hibernation. Lack of hibernation? Mm, I haven't been sleeping well lately, so I haven't really been able to hibernate. That's awful. What could be causing it? Lack of honey? Is it because you have a lot on your mind? Hmm. Is it because the graveyard shift pays a better hourly wage? Hmm. Is it because you don't want them to think you're just goofing around? Hmm. Is it because you want to stay friends? Hmm. Is it because you want to watch it in real time? Um. Father? He's gone to hibernation. We should let him be. Yeah, you're right. Night, night. <laughs> oh, they seem so meaningless. Okay, back to the class trial. Forgetting someone important to me, but uh, I just can't. My head! My head hurts so much, I just can't remember. Have you forgotten? Maybe that's for the best. From this point forward, let's start a new life for ourselves. After all, our baby is excited to meet his daddy, you know? Daddy? Wait, what? I'm gonna be a father? What a colossal death flag. I'll be surprised if he doesn't die after that. More importantly, let's continue the conversation where we left off. We understand Mew plotted the murder, but we need to find out who killed her. And in order to figure that out, we need to understand Mew's actions. So let's discuss her murder scheme step by step. I know that's important, but hearing you lead the conversation really pisses me off. Let's see. You manipulated the virtual world to use it as part of her murder plan. Don't just ignore me and start anyway. If she had succeeded, she would have gone past the wall between the chapel and mansion. And then wham! Murdered me on the roof with the hammer. She would make the murder seem like it happened in the real world, and then pin it on Kaito. As for Mew's alibi in the real world, she could say she was locked into the virtual world. And in the virtual world, she could say she was near the chapel the entire time. She'd make an excuse about how she couldn't reach the mansion because of the fallen bridge. Whoops, my hand slipped. She dropped the bridge on purpose so she could separate the chapel from the mansion. then secretly passed through the wall she installed and took advantage of the loop. After, she headed to where we were supposed to meet at, the mansion's rooftop. Oh yeah, Kaito was probably logged out around that time too. That's when I saw Mew. Problem is, because of her murder plans, we don't even know where she was killed. She was killed on the roof, right? Kokichi told us the roof door was locked and that he couldn't get through. Maybe that when culprit kill her. That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. Did the culprit lock the door to the roof? Perhaps. I don't think Mew did it. If Mew did lock it, 
She would have done it when she called Kokichi to the roof. Even if someone came up, I don't believe she would change the target of her plan. She knew that Kokichi would come up later. Locking the door would be suspicious. Well, it's possible she didn't even think that far ahead. She was smart, but she was also really, really dumb. No say such mean things! Killing game bad, not Mew. Mew not bad person. Going to think we could have been friends, if things different. That might have been difficult, even without this killing game. That wouldn't happen. Nuh-uh. No way, Jose! Huh? Anyway, let's continue the discussion. If Mew was killed on the roof of the mansion, the culprit must have moved Mew's avatar to the chapel after killing her, right? So the next thing we should talk about is how they moved her avatar. Now we know the mansion and chapel were actually next to each other. But the problem is the wall between them. Only Mew was able to go through that wall. The culprit wouldn't have been able to. Then you're saying the culprit sent Mew's avatar through that wall? Yeah, that's the only way, right? But how did the culprit send Mew's avatar through the wall? I mean, it's not like they could have thrown her. Go to not throw her! We know. You couldn't because the avatar's physical strength was equalized. Physical strength? Equalized? That problem! Gonta no can protect everyone if that happens! Jeez, keep up with us. We're already in the second half of the class trial. Hmm. How did they send Mew's avatar to the other side of the wall? Maybe that thing has something to do with it. You know, the loud sound you heard? Huh? What? What was that sound? Because of that sound, you guys went to the side of the chapel. Right, Keyboy? That's when you found the dead Mew there, right? If so, then I think that sound and her avatar being by the chapel are related. Yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that the noise is related to this case. We need to figure out what that sound could have been. It might be the clue we need to solve this case. So what was it? It sounded like something slamming hard into something else. So what were those two things? It could be... A uh, hammer hitting the wall? No, I don't think that would make the sound. Cell phone hitting the wall? No. Lattice hitting the wall? Mew hitting the wall. That's it! I think the sound came from Mew's avatar hitting the chapel wall. The hammer, cell phone and lattice were there. But they were too small to make that noise. Ruling those out, the only other explanation is that the sound was Mew colliding with a wall. If that's the case, Mew's avatar must have hit the chapel wall really hard. He felt the impact all the way from the inside of the chapel. Yeah, that's the real question. Mew's avatar probably hit the chapel's wall with pretty considerable force. But why did it hit the wall with such force? Can you guys figure it out? Hold on, Kokichi. What's up with the way you're talking? Why are you talking like you know everything? Let's not worry about that right now. More importantly, we gotta solve the mystery. Fighting among friends is a waste of time. Friends? Us? Anyway, can we talk about that after we figure this problem out? A way of transporting Mew's avatar that would cause it to crash into the chapel. Get a Mew's avatar to crash into the chapel from the mansion's roof. There's only one way I can think of how to do that. Hey Shuichi, as your partner, I'll give you a little hint. You what? Since the mansion was on top of a hill, the roof was pretty high up, right? Past the brick handrail, the roof was at a pretty steep slope and the slope faced the chapel wall. On top of that, there was snow on the roof. If the culprit needed force to move the body, I wonder how they did it. Kikichi's talking as if he's got the whole thing figured out already. 
but I can't let him distract me. I need to solve the case. How to make Mew hit the chapel wall from the roof of the mansion. I'm gonna find the answer. Oh, bit of hangman. Right, this is actually a... I found it a tough one. I remember the answer, but when I was first playing it, I, I remember it being a tough one. So, just because of the wording of it, I guess. Oh, I haven't seen him. F's. Oh, I just saw him. Haha, <laughs> Monokuma. This one. Just saw the other one. Uh, no. Ah. We have a. Oh, I just saw the other one, I think. Here we go. Slid off the roof. I see now. The culprit used the sloped roof as a slide for Mew's avatar. Slide? Ah, man. Even with the slope and the snow, Mew's body wouldn't have slid. Wrong. It would slide. But the avatars can generate friction. We wouldn't have been able to walk otherwise. So I doubt that it would have had that much momentum. No, no. It would slide. It wouldn't slide, just like Maki Roll said. It would slide, just like Shumai said. Who the hell is Shumai? Oh, he's a pupil of Ramen Man. Uh, sorry, my hobby slipped in. I'm positive that that's how Mew's avatar was moved, but... Maybe the culprit used something else as well to help her body slide. Even if her avatar slid off the roof, would it slide off that quickly? Well, duh, it would. It made that much noise. We must have built up a lot of speed. Lots of snow piled up on roof. They're not frozen solid, right? You'd still slide, though. In the real world, it might be difficult. But in the virtual world, perhaps not. That's not the issue. Sliding down snow is easy to do. You just need a sled or skis to cut the friction. There was nothing like that around them. That's wrong! No, wait! There was something that could have been used to help slide Mew's body. Do you remember the lattice that was found by Mew's avatar? The culprit laid her on top of that, then used it. I did notice the lattice in the storage room when I first looked. But during the investigation, I saw that it was gone. The lattice that was found next to the chapel is the one that disappeared from the roof? Then that's it! The culprit used the lattice as a sled! Ding, ding, ding! That's correct! After the culprit killed Mew on the rooftop, they placed her corpse on a sled and slid her down the roof's steep slope. The sled picked up speed, flew off the roof, glided through the wall only objects could pass through, and hit the chapel. The impact made all of her belongings scatter, including the hammer and cell phone. Just like that hedgehog who loses all his rings whenever he crashes into stuff. I... I hate that guy and his worldwide fame and his stupid games and I... HATE THAT HEDGEHOG! Daddy, I'm glad you're feeling motivated again, but you shouldn't be so hateful. You gotta be an example to our new family. Yeah, Father. Or should I start calling you grandfather now?
Now that we know how the body slid down, we're just one step away from the culprit. Well, Shuichi, do you know who the culprit is? The culprit? Yeah. In the end, we'll still need to guess the culprit, huh? But Gonta can't believe one of us killed Mew. However, since we know she was killed on the roof, we can narrow down the list of suspects. Meaning, the culprit must be someone who was investigating the mansion. Aside from you, the people at the chapel could not go through the wall or cross the river. So that means the suspects are Kaito, Samugi, Shuichi, and Gonta. That's real sneaky, leaving yourself off the list. <laughs> oh, you got me. That's right, five suspects. Meet Samugi, Gonta, Kakichi, and Kaito. We don't even know enough... Hmm? We don't know enough to name the culprit yet, but one of them is suspicious. But when we're talking about the rooftop, they clearly lied. But what reason would they have to lie? I need to press them for information before making any judgments. Okay, who was it that lied? The only person who really talked about the rooftop, isn't it? Yeah, Kakichi. It's you! Kokichi, there's something I need to know. Hmm. Huh. What do you need to know? Why did you lie just now? Which lie are you talking about, Shuichi? I lie a lot, so you'll need to jog my memory. Fine. I'll expose your lie right now. Also, I never went to the roof, not even for the meeting. It all began when Mew showed us the map. That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. It was that testimony that bothered me. Oh, mine, mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was waiting for the Lord a bit more. Um. Ah, okay, I think is this. I know it's using time to get rid of the individual ones, but I think we're going to have to. <laughs> I don't know if I needed both of those then, but... You know. Never went to the roof, not even for the meeting. I see it! When you were explaining that the door to the roof was locked, you said... Also, I never went to the roof, not even for the meeting. But later, you said... Since the mansion was on top of a hill, the roof was pretty high up, right? Past the brick handrail, the roof was at a pretty steep slope. And the slope faced the chapel wall. On top of that, there was snow on the roof. That's a lot of specific information. Stuff you wouldn't know if you hadn't been there. Oh yeah! Now that you mention it, how did you know all that stuff? You could probably see the steep slope of the roof from outside the mansion. But you wouldn't know about the brick handrail unless you went up to the roof yourself. Huh? huh? Wh wh what? What's this all about, Kokichi? Did you actually go to the rooftop? I, I, I didn't! I already t told you that b before! Why you look so nervous? Is this a sincere reaction? B but there's no evidence that pr proves I went to the roof! But wait! I remember now. That thing Himiko said. <laughs> Me? At the start of the class trial, I remember you saying the handrail was made of bricks. Ooh, you so clumsy, girl! Gotta be more careful there, Himiko! Is it my fault? Himiko really say that? She totally said that! No, she didn't! Yes, she did! She did not! She did too! Then when? Tell me how long ago! In hours, minutes, and seconds! <laughs> what a worthless fight! Grandpa, all this terrible fighting is bad for the baby. Yeah, 
Ah, Grandfather, stop them before your grandkid is born. I'm not gonna apologize, because Himiko said it. So damn stubborn. How much longer are you going to behave like this? We don't have time for this. But Kikichi is stubborn. He won't fess up no matter what. But if he's being this stubborn, it makes me think he has something to hide. To get him to show his hand, I have to prove he was on the roof. I might not like it, but I have to be aggressive. If we don't get the whole truth now, everyone's lives are in danger. I didn't go to the roof! I've had enough of your lies, man! I'm not lying! The rooftop door was locked and I couldn't open it! So what did Kokichi do? I turned back at once, of course. And stayed in the salon the whole time, you know? Damn it! I didn't go to the roof! I'm not lying! The rooftop door was locked and I couldn't open it! So what did Kokichi do? I turned back at once, of course. And stayed in the salon the whole time, you know? I always yield the truth! Kokichi, you're lying right now, aren't you? Huh? Lying about what? Just before the murder occurred, I went to the salon to check on you. But you weren't there. What? Really? I waited there for a while. You never showed up. What's this all about, Kokichi? Didn't you go right back to the salon after finding the roof door locked? I see. You use underhanded tactics too, huh, Shuichi? So who are you guys gonna believe? Shuichi or me? Well, of course I'm gonna believe Shuichi. I believe Shuichi 100%. The one who's not Kokichi. 100 house points. Uh, no. Himiko points to Shuichi. But to go to the salon, Shuichi would need to pass by me in the dining room. Um, I wonder why I didn't notice Shuichi there. Oh well, I'll believe Shuichi anyway. He's usually right about stuff. Sorry, but I'm going to believe Shuichi, too. I see. I wanted at least Gonta to believe me. But what comes around goes around. That's what happens to liars like you. Why do you guys hate lies that much? There's only one truth, but endless possibilities for lies, you know? And some of them are only white lies, or lies to be kind to people. If you deny all of that just because it's a lie, then that means you guys are just terrible at being lied to. Seriously, the worst! Just spit it out already! You went to the roof, didn't you? Isn't that where he met up with Mew? No, he didn't just meet her there. He probably... Okay, fine. I'll tell you if you want to know that badly. Consider this my revenge. Revenge? You got some balls lying to me. I'm gonna take away your fun for pissing me off, Shuichi. I won't let you do any detective work, or deduction, or mystery solving, or anything. Oh? So, I'll confess everything. You guys better listen carefully. Confess? A confession? So you are the culprit after all. I came up with a plan after Mew asked me to meet up with her. She asked me pretty eagerly, too. So I decided to pry some info out of her. She gave me the rundown of the virtual world before she explained it to you guys. As I listened, I realized she was planning a murder. On me, no less. When I investigated the virtual world, I found out that a person can die from shock. Without a doubt, she planned to use that for my murder. So that's when I decided to prepare my own crime with her plan. I pretended to cooperate with her and lured everyone into the virtual world. That's also why I work together with Monokuma. You work together with Monokuma? <sighs> I guess the jig is up. Yeah, everything he said is true. Kokichi came to me with an idea. 
to make the killing game more interesting. It was such a good idea, I decided to place a motive in the killing game simulator. You added a motive? Then the secret of the outside world is the motive, right? No fair! Monokuma can't take sides! I didn't help him with anything, and I had nothing to do with the murder itself! He merely suggested a way to spice up the killing game, and I accepted! Kokichi and I had a quid pro quo relationship. Technically, that doesn't violate the rules! Bullshit! No matter how you look at it, you guys are working together! Explain my relationship with Monokuma, so let me finish my confession. I'm fine with that, but you're confessing without much of a fight. Me? <laughs> I told you, I'm gonna get in the way by taking away the mystery solving fun. If I can't win this game, then I'll make it boring for everyone. That's my revenge. Well, then, the culprit is Gonta. What? Huh? W what did you. Wait! When did Gonta kill Mew? That's a lie! He didn't kill her! Tokichi's just lying! Now you're trying to pin things on Gonta? Do you really expect us to believe such an obvious lie? Yeah! There's no way Gonta could commit a murder this complicated. He's not smart. It's my turn now! The truth is... Gonta and I work together. We formed a duo to end this killing game. As the killing game busters! What busters? We must win this killing game in order to end this killing game. What you mean, we? By the way, I came up with a murder plan, and Gonta carried it out. Gonta what? Why are you more surprised by that than the first thing he said? Because going to have no idea what he's talking about. Come on, quit lying and tell us the truth. Gonta is telling the truth. He's not someone who lies all the time like you. And no matter how naive Gonta may be, I doubt he would ever team up with Kokichi. Yeah, not after insect meet and greet incident. <laughs> it's obvious what he's trying to do. Gonta doesn't understand the virtual world, so Kokichi's trying to trick him. He's trying to sacrifice Gonta to escape from his crime! Ah! You're a terrible person! How dare you use Gonta like that! You're right. I'm sorry. I did something horrible to Gonta. I didn't want Shuichi to hog all the glory, so I told everyone the truth! Cut that out! I told you it's not gonna work! Don't you think I could have pulled the strings and made Gonta carry out my commands? It doesn't matter if it's possible or not, because I say it's just impossible. It does matter. There's no need to bring emotions into class trials. All we need is logical thinking. Right, Shuichi? What? Um, going to not understand what's going on. But still, going to not kill Mew. Going to really not know anything. And also, going to not tell lies and going to not make trouble for others. Cause that not how gentlemen act. That why going to not culprit. Yeah, Gonta's not lying. I can tell just by looking at him. I already used my magic to check. Gonta's definitely not lying. Then let me ask you guys. If it's not Gonta, then who's the culprit? You, of course! <laughs> Come on! There's already proof that I couldn't have killed Mew! There's already proof? Oh, did you forget already? Then let me make it clear again. Why I can't be the culprit! I am not the culprit! Didn't I prove that to you guys already? The clue is how Mew was killed. Mew got strangled to death, right? Toilet paper was the murder weapon. 
You would have totally resisted if she was being strangled, right? Then it would have been impossible for someone as weak as me! You talking about the strength of your virtual avatar? That wouldn't matter if you strangled her from behind. In which case, even if she did resist, the most she could have done is merely touch the culprit. Exactly. She couldn't struggle much. So you could have kept strangling her, no problem. See, I told you I'm not the culprit. How'd you arrive at that conclusion? I am not the culprit. Do you like me back to you guys already? It's clear how you were too. You got strangled today, right? You're talking about the strength of your virtual avatar? That wouldn't matter! You strangled her from behind! In which case, even if she did resist, the most she could have done is merely touch the culprit. Exactly! She couldn't struggle much. So you could have kept strangling her, no problem! That's wrong! Actually, Maybe it wasn't possible for Kokichi to strangle Mew. Why wasn't it possible? Mew modified my avatar, so if she attacked me, I wouldn't be able to resist. If Mew touched me, then I'd be unable to move. Huh? So I would have had to kill her instantly, such as stabbing or hitting. I couldn't have murdered her by strangulation because it'd be game over if she touched me. What? Well, if you were using the toilet paper, you wouldn't need to touch her directly. But if you can't be touched while you're wrapping the toilet paper around her neck, then it would be impossible. Which means, as long as she died from strangulation, it couldn't have been me. Wait, what if it was something besides strangulation then? Like... There's no doubt Mew was strangled. We already discussed this. <laughs> Kaido is really desperate to make me the culprit. No matter how much you whine about it, you can't change the truth. The culprit who killed Mew is Gonta Gokuhara. This is the truth you all adore so much. No, Gonta not kill Mew. It's true. You gotta believe Gonta. Gonta would never hurt anyone. I believe you. You've been risking yourself to protect everyone. There's no way Gonto would kill. He won't even kill bugs. I believe Gonto too. I'm not gonna listen to Kokichi's lies. Uh, of course! Who'd believe a liar like him? He's lying about Gonto being the culprit, so there's no point talking about it. I don't know about that. If we want the truth, we might have to ask and come to questions. Right, Shuichi? You think so too, don't you? Huh? I know how important it is to believe, but as the ultimate detective, I know we can't solve this case with belief alone. Huh? It's just that something doesn't add up. I have this feeling that something's off. We can't keep going back and forth like this. We need to discuss this. What, you... Wanna suspect Gonta? Too bad, Kaito. Looks like Shuichi agrees with me. No, I'm not trying to... Oh, the irony! It's all thanks to Kaito that Shuichi got his act together as a detective. And now, Shuichi's intuition as a detective has made him more suspicious of others. Well, can't be helped. That's just what a detective does. That's not it, Kokichi. I'm just trying to make sure that everyone survives. Shuichi, going to really not do it. Going to not culprit. Please, believe Gonta. We might as well discuss it. What? As a precautionary measure, that's all. I think we need to seriously discuss whether Gonta was capable of committing this crime. Only then can we arrive at a logical decision. You guys, why don't you get it? That's just what Kokichi wants. He's just trying to split us up! Shuichi! Open your eyes! B but Two to one truth special! Sorry to ruin this tense moment, but you guys seem pretty evenly split right now. 
So, the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds! So we're gonna do that again? Shuichi, why? Why don't you understand? You, you're my sidekick, aren't you? Kaito. Of course I want to believe Gonta. I don't want to think that he killed someone. But as the ultimate detective, I can't turn away from the truth. I need to find the truth. Are you saying that Gota is the culprit? We've got this! I can't say for sure he's the culprit. I'm saying we can't rule it out. Gota is such a sweetheart. He wouldn't hurt a- Kokichi! Don't you realize these so-called sweethearts can commit crimes too? Could Gonta have even made it to the rooftop without being- Kibo! The entrance hall is all that separates the rooftop from the mansion exterior. There should have been witnesses at the entrance hall. I've got this! No, none of us were in charge of the entrance hall. But Kokichi confessed he was working with Monokuma. Kokichi! I did cooperate with Monokuma, but only on a temporary basis. It's all a lie! Kokichi is- Kibo! That is impossible, because Kokichi's avatar had special settings. Gonta not kill Mew! I got this! The truth is, Gonta could have murdered Mew. In my opinion, as long as it is possible that Gonta is the culprit, we have to discuss it. That's ridiculous! You're going to believe Kokichi over Gonta? That's not it at all. I just want the truth. If we're going to survive, I have to find the truth. But... Gonta telling truth? Gonta really not culprit? I... Still don't think Gonta's lying. But didn't I tell you guys already? If you're planning to expose a liar, then you have to corner them psychologically. Only then will they reveal their true self as a liar, hiding beneath a layer of deceit. That's why it hurts my heart to persecute Gonta like this! Gonta, if you understand, then do it right. Make logical arguments for the truth. L logical arguments? It means use your head to make arguments! Use... head? What I'm trying to say is, if you aren't the culprit, then you gotta prove that you aren't! But... Gonta really not know? Ugh, I'm sick of hearing you say you don't know! God, why are you so dumb?! Gonta just wanna help everyone! Like, true gentlemen! You're a true gentleman? More like a true nincompoop! Just bullying. Bullying? Yeah, so what? That's what you do in this game, right? You guys blame and gang up on me, but now you're gonna pretend to be good people? No, I, I never ganged up. Gonta, argue back already! Just make an excuse or whatever! Stop it! That's enough! Hmm? Stop what? You mean stop the game? Hey, do you even know what you're saying? Yeah, I know. What about it? I don't want to survive if it means I have to stoop to your level. Oh, that's a low blow right there. Then just die in a hole for all I care! We want to live, so stop getting in our way! Wait. If you don't shut your mouth, then I'll shut it for you. Permanently. Maki, please, calm down. Sorry. It Gonta's fault everyone's so upset. But Gonta telling truth! Gonta really not culprit! Cause 
go to not know anything? Really? Cut it out already! That's all you've been saying this whole time! You're the one that needs to cut it out! Wait, what does Kikichi say? All you've been saying this whole time? That's true about Gonta. This whole time, Gonta's been saying he doesn't know anything. Gonta not understand either. Mew likes it like this when Gonta wake up. Gonta was sleeping too. Had a strange dream. Gonta not understand anything. Gonta not know. Murder already happened when Gonta wake up. But why this happened? Why Mew killed? Gonta not understand. Gonta not understand anything. Because Gonta have no idea what he's talking about. But when exactly did he start using that defense? Gonta starts saying, I don't know when. Uh, he's after logging out, right? That's it. That's it. It was after he logged out. That means. Did Gonta get into an accident in the virtual world? Accident? The accident that hurt Gonta. That was. Hmm. Uh, when everyone logged in for the first time, an avatar user error occurred. Ah, yeah, something to do with that. This is it. When we logged into the virtual world. An avatar user error occurred. Some sort of avatar user error occurred when you were logged in for the first time. An error? The contents of the error are unknown, so I can't provide any details. But something strange definitely happened to someone's avatar when you were logged in. An avatar user error? Ever since going to logged out, he's been saying, I don't know, I don't understand. That's because Gonta doesn't understand the virtual world, right? That's what I thought at first, but I think it's because of the error. What you mean? If that error is what's affecting Gonta, and it's making him forgetful and loopy, then what was the error? What could it have been? Hang man! <laughs> I find it pretty tricky to figure out what this hangman is, what the solution is this time. But, at the same time, it does seem obvious once you get the answer. <laughs> uh, what is it? Looking for a Y. Was that it? Yeah. Okay, next up, you. As in L, not you. <laughs> One more. There. Memory loss. I see now. I believe it's possible that Gonta doesn't remember what happened in the virtual world. Huh? He doesn't remember? You started saying, I don't know anything, after leaving the virtual world. I think that's the result of some kind of memory error. Oh, that's why he doesn't remember anything that happened in the virtual world. Not even killing Mew. What? That's ridiculous! Quit screwing around! Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous! What do you mean he doesn't remember? He's just confused! Gonzo told us he was bad with computers, remember? Memory or no memory? Gonta never hurt anyone! Gonta no way Gonta's the culprit! Never hurt, hurt anyone. Doesn't remember to want to keep everyone safe. You did it, but you don't remember. Never kill a friend. If there was a glitch, it's gentlemen, just gentlemen, just gentlemen, protect friends. Your lies aren't, aren't protecting anyone. But because we're all okay, Gota not lying. That means there was no Gota swear. Please believe Gota. I heard it. The cause of the error that affected Gonta's avatar. 
is the two cords on the helmet used to log into the virtual world. Put the red consciousness cord in the right port, blue memory cord in the left. Out of curiosity, what happens if you switch the cords? No, oh, never done that before. Probably gets all glitchy or something. I think that Gonta messed up something with the cords, causing the error. If he mixed the consciousness and memory cords, then there'd be an error with memory. Like, an error that won't let you bring your avatar's memories to the real world? What? Gonta, do you think it's possible that you improperly connected the cords? Huh? How Gonta supposed to remember that? He couldn't have messed it up. I said it over and over. Right is the hand you hold your chopsticks in. Oh, but Gonta holds chopsticks with this hand. Uh, that's your left hand! What? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's decided. What? Decided. He's wrong, isn't he, Gonta? You remember the virtual world, don't you? G Gonta not remember. Gonta not even go to this virtual world place. What? Gonta fall asleep when he put helmet on. When Gonta wake up, you dead. Gonta not know what happened. So, Gonta worry. Gonta not understand what everyone talking about. No, it can't be. But Gonta try his best to understand. Gonta imagine real hard. That's enough, Gonta. We already know. N know what? We know that you totally forgot about teaming up with me and killing Mew. Wait a minute! That lie! Gonta not kill Mew! What? Why would Gonta... Yeah, it's a lie! I'll never accept this! And besides, Gonta's got no motive to kill Mew! I already gave you my testimony on how I came up with the murder plan. And I'm saying I don't believe you! Kokichi, if what you're saying is true, why did you plan it this way? You wanted to plan the murder yourself, but have someone else carry it out? Is the person who planned it also included as a blackened with the perpetrator? Nope! Only the person who actually commits the murder becomes the blackened! Then there's no incentive to just plan the murder. But Gonta is such a gentle soul. Why would he agree to this? Hold on! That hasn't been decided yet! Who cares about the motive? Let's vote for the culprit already! I care about the motive! Well, I don't care. Finding the culprit is more important in this class trial. Talking about the motive is meaningless. It's not necessary for this specific case. No matter what you say, I'll never believe your lies. We all agree that Gonta is the culprit, right? It would be impossible for anyone but him. Impossible? Why? It's pretty obvious if you use the process of elimination. Which means, Shuichi, you'll be my partner, right? Because if you don't face the truth, then we'll all die, right? And you don't want that, do you? Okay, let's begin! Quit screwing around! I'm done putting up with your selfish bullshit! Kaito, we should listen to his explanation. Our lives depend on it. <sighs> so, we can now take Keyboy, Himiko, and Maki off the suspect list. Shuichi, would you care to explain? I doubt they'll believe it if it came from me. The reason Kibo, Himiko, and Maki can be eliminated as suspects is because... Uh, they couldn't access the crime scene with the whole bridge thing. They couldn't get to the crime scene, could they? The bridge from the chapel to the mansion was gone, and only Mew could pass through the wall. The three at the chapel had no way to get to the mansion, so they couldn't have done it. Kaito is the next one off our suspect list, and you know why, right? Okay, it was because he was logged out early. Kaito had logged out ahead of us. Mew logged Kaito out from the start, but she did that to make us think the murder happened in the real world, right? Since we figured out the actual killing happened in the virtual world, it would have been impossible for Kaito, who had already logged out. Mew's time of death was around 6.30 in the morning. That's after Kaito logged out. 
Okichi's completely running the show now. My synergy with Shuichi is super on point now, so let's move on to the remaining suspects. Gonta, Samugi, Shuichi, and me. Samugi and Shuichi can be crossed off. But what's the reason for that? Okay, that's because they have solid alibis. Each other. Tsumugi and I are witnesses to each other's alibis. Both of you heard Mew hitting the chapel wall, right? The culprit was definitely on the roof during that time, since they slid Mew down. Because of that, Shuichi and Samugi can't be the culprit. That leaves only Gonta and me as the remaining suspects. Then you're the culprit! Sorry for getting your hopes up, but didn't I already explain that's impossible? Okay, why not Kikichi? Um, he couldn't have killed Mew because of the uh, touch thing. If Mew touched him, he'd freeze in place. Kokichi wasn't capable of strangling her. So then, it's down to one person. And who was that again? <laughs> Well, who is it? Don't answer, Shuichi! You don't need to answer that! This is all Kokichi's trap! So only one suspect left? Only one person could have done this. Okay, let's pick him. There's something very unfair and weird about this one. It's... it's... Gonta. Shuichi? Yup! Gonta is the only person who could have committed the murder! You get it now, right? That's the truth we were all reaching for. The thing you guys wanted so badly! A truth without any lies! New Iruma's killer is Gonta Gokuhara! Really do it? Yes. Is that really your reaction? It would have been fun if you went all crazy. But you forgot everything. So, oh well. A culprit who can't remember their murder is pretty interesting. So, better than nothing. If Gonta remembered, his cover would have been blown so fast. Especially since he's an idiot. Hold on. I, I still haven't accepted this. This has got to be Kokichi's trap. I still believe in Gonta. He's not the kind of person who'd kill. Kaito. I already said this a million times, Kaito. You shouldn't use emotions to... You want proof? I've got your proof. <laughs> After Sumugi and Shuichi heard Kibo's voice in the mansion, they ran outside. And who did they see out there? Oh, Shuichi and Smoogie. Gonta, did you see Kibo around here anyway? No, Gonta not see him. Gonta. Kokichi said it himself. When Mew's avatar crashed into the chapel wall, the culprit must have been on the roof. I see. If Gonta's the culprit, it'd be weird if he wasn't on the roof. It's possible that he fled the mansion after he heard the impact. You'd have to go through the entrance hall to get outside the mansion from the roof. Is that where Shuichi and Sumugi ran to when they heard the crashing sound? Then maybe he jumped off the roof. It's not possible. That rooftop was pretty high up. Normally, Gota could have done it, but his avatar wasn't strong enough. How about that? Now you get it, right? If Gota was the culprit, there's no way he could have been outside the mansion. Now you can't say Gonta's the culprit! Congrats, Gonta! What? Really? It would have been so nice if that were the truth. If Kaito were right, then this horrible trial would just end. But... No, that's wrong. What? Just because Gonta was at the mansion, doesn't mean that he isn't the culprit. All the culprit needed was a way to get from the roof to outside the mansion. Huh? 
Looks like Shuichi got it. I'll leave the rest to him. Kaito, I know how you feel. I know because we all feel it. But we have to face the truth. No matter how cool that truth may be, we need to face it to survive. Whose side are you on, Shuichi? Kaito, please! Aren't you my sidekick? Was that just a lie? Kaito! Fine then! I'll tear that sorry reasoning of yours apart and wake you up! I can't help my detective work now. If I want a soul to survive, I can't back down. I'll never accept this! <laughs> Don't you know Gonta at all? The guy who kills someone. Don't you know that about him by now? Damn it! Why won't you believe Gota? Why are you listening to Kokichi? You my sidekick? Wake up, Juichi! Why won't you believe Gota? Why are you listening to Kokichi? Sidekick? Wake up, Shuichi! Why won't you believe Gota? Why, damn it! Who do you want to believe? Remember what Kokichi has done to us! Remember how Gota's always tried to protect us! How could Gota be the culprit? Still want to accuse him, huh? Saying the truth this, the truth that. There's a reason Gota's not the culprit. Who do you want to believe? Remember what Kokichi has done to us. Remember how Gota's always tried to protect us. How could Gota be the culprit? Still want to accuse him, huh? Saying the truth this, the truth that. There's a reason Gota's not the culprit. Who do you want to believe? Damn it! There's no way to leave the mansion from the rooftop! It ends here! Damn it! The toilet paper we found outside the mansion. That's what the culprit used to get from the roof to the ground. Toilet paper? The same toilet paper that was used as the murder weapon. That's why we didn't find it anywhere else. Not at the scene of the crime, nor on Mew's body. It was outside the mansion. Hold on. If they use the toilet paper as a rope to get down from the roof, then they need to tie it to something. But there was nothing to tie it to. I know because I investigated the roof. You're stubborn, Kaito. You're still going on about this. Of course I am. I'm going to believe in Gota till the very end. No, there was something that the toilet paper could have been tied to. What? Yeah, the place where the toilet paper was tied to. It was... To the binoculars. There! The binoculars on the rooftop. The toilet paper could have been tied there. However, I don't think the culprit actually tied it down there. They just hung it. And then used the doubled up toilet paper to climb down. But in that case, they would have had to tug on it in order to take it down. Yep, that's correct. Because I came up with that idea. But I thought I told Gonta to put the toilet paper back in the bathroom. Oh, I guess he ran into someone on the way and then threw it somewhere close by. Kaito's morale is shot, so this whole thing is done now. The matter does appear to be settled. 
that it's so it true going to really kill Mew. But I'm the one who came up with the plan. Anyway, just to make your crime, Gonta. Even though you don't remember, you still did it. But why did Gonta do such a terrible thing? Wait, before you start crying, you gotta admit your crime first. Stop. I won't let you, Kokichi. If anyone is gonna get him to confess, it's me. Gonta, I'm going to look back at the whole case one more time, okay? Okay, we've made it to the closing argument, the comic book style uh, summary. So I'm going to end the episode here, and then next time we're going to finish off all of chapter 4. We should be able to do it quite easily, <laughs> I think. So, this has been Goonie XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit for the rest of chapter 4. See you in a bit.